Hi, I'm Lisa Vogt. Welcome to my glass studio. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I made this beautiful rainbow tower called Pride in Colors. The vibrant pattern that runs vertically through this tower is made by combing molten glass. I heat strips of glass in a kiln up to 1600 degrees. The glass is held there for a period of time and then I go in with a metal comb and I drag that tool through the glass to create the beautiful pattern. It's a real thrill to be able to manipulate the glass in such a way that I can create my own intricate designs. I'm really pleased with the gradual color shift and the pattern on these pieces. Now I'm going to introduce some dichroic glass to the design. I picked this particular glass because it's called rainbow and has a nice variety of colors. The rainbow dichroic is on black glass, so it'll give a, the artwork a really nice, brilliant contrast. But now I want to introduce some clear dichroic so that light will go through the art and give it a luminescent quality. These little pieces will be incorporated into the background of the design. The combed pattern portion is intended to be a focal point. But then I wanted to create a background that emphasized and enhanced that focal point and that rainbow pattern in the middle. In effect, I'm taking a small combed piece and enhancing it with a background to give it more visual intricacy and a greater sense of drama. I'm using black glass for some of these areas in the background to create high contrast. It's also an effective way to visually frame in the artwork. The dichroic ribbons add sparkle and movement and continuity to the background. Now I'm introducing some clear dichroic ribbons. These will add a nice surface treatment to the finished piece of art. The artwork is then fired to a full fuse temperature of 1465 degrees. The combed ribbon is now placed on top of the art and it's fired a second time to a tack fuse temperature of 1365 degrees. At this temperature, the glass will bond together but I'll retain a little texture, which gives the artwork a three-dimensional quality. And here's Pride in Colors complete. I'm thrilled with the unique shape and the vibrant colors. This is one of several projects you can learn how to make in my video titled, Breaking Through, Making Exhibition Quality Art. Until next time, keep on fusing. You may like these other instructional videos available on my website. My videos are available as downloads and DVDs, and I also have an assortment of eBooks. Be sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks.